Prince Harry's bombshell royal confession laid bare, I don't like England much. Prince Harry admitted to not liking England very much years before his relocation to the US with wife Meghan Markle, unearthed reports reveal. Royal author Amid Scobie has claimed Prince Harry is happier than ever and doesn't miss his old life at all. Mr. Scobie, who co-authored the controversial royal biography Finding Freedom, said the Duke of Sussex, who recently turned 36 is very content with his marriage and family, and thriving in his professional life. He told Vanity Fair, This is the moment, Harry, can sit back and think, I made it. Meanwhile, royal commentator Ingrid Seward added about the prince, he's embracing his new life and everything is an adventure right now. He has moved on very quickly, and I don't think he misses his old life at all. Having quit as a senior member of the royal family in March, he, Wife Meghan and son Archie have relocated to California, where they live in a sprawling mansion in Santa Barbara. The couple has also signed a mega-production deal with Netflix, announcing their intention to provide hope and inspiration with their upcoming documentaries, feature films and children's programming. While the news of Prince Harry's relocation to the U.S. has saddened many royal fans, unearthed reports reveal the Duke of Sussex has always envisaged his future life not being in the UK. In 2009, when the news broke of Prince Harry's 10-week tour of duty in the thick of the battle in Helmand province, the British public was given a glimpse of him knuckling down, mucking in and fighting for his country. He told the Daily Telegraph, I don't want to sit around in Windsor, but I generally don't like England that much and, you know, it's nice to be away from all the press and the papers. At the time, his comments sparked condemnation in the UK. However, Brian Hoey, royal commentator and author of a biography on Prince William, said, I genuinely believe he just didn't articulate his feelings all that well. I think what he actually meant was that he didn't like the environment in which, because of his royal position, he is forced to live. Having endured so much criticism, brought on by himself. It has to be said, he is probably now hoping he has truly proved himself to the British public. He has done his bit for his country. And in doing that he has, for one of the few times in his life, been allowed to be himself. Sarah Bradford, author of a biography on Diana, added at the time, the pictures from Afghanistan show once again the young man we glimpsed in Africa doing charity work. There, he was simply Widow 6-7 his code name. He felt free from all the stuffiness that surrounds being a royal. Let's face it, Harry isn't the most diplomatic of young men. I believe that when he said he didn't like England he meant all the protocol that is involved in being third in line to the throne. In England he doesn't have a defined role. His older brother is being prepared to become king. But what life role is being mapped out for Harry? In Afghanistan he had a role, and a very important one to fulfill. He should rightly expect his country to be proud of him.